Hello. How are y'all do- Okay, focus. Hello? I'm right here. Hey. How are y'all doing? I'm doing all right. This is my kitchen. Here it is. Here's my refrigerator. I had a different video planned originally, but I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I was going to do like a decorating video, but I'm like sick of that. It's time to get our hands dirty, all right? It's time to get our hands dirty, and we're making some pico de gallo. I love pico de gallo. Am I saying that wrong? Am I, do, I, do you cringe every time I say it? Pico de gallo, pico de gallo, pico de gallo, pico de gallo. How do we feel about it? I don't know if I'm saying it right, y'all tell me. I would also just like to go ahead, can I stop picking my nose? Probably not, it itches, like right here. I'm not picking my nose, it just really itches. And I swear it happens every time I film. So I either look like I like snort crack or I'm picking my nose, neither of which are true. Ooh! So my air conditioning just went off. I don't know how often it cuts on and off. So enough with the jibber jobber. Let's go ahead and get started. Cause I know y'all miss me in the kitchen. So let's go ahead and grab our supplies. It's actually right over here. Come on, right here in the fridge. So it's actually right down here. Yep, in the produce drawer. That's actually where you are. So good job keeping up. I'm just gonna go ahead and oh, sorry. Grab what I need. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Just don't focus on me. I love when you do that camera. I love it. So get your cutting board and a knife. It is crucial that your knife and cutting board are corresponding colors and they match. If they don't, then your pico de gallo will not turn out right. It's just, I don't like the rules. And then you need a bell pepper, some tomatoes, a lime, and some cilantro. So follow along, I'm actually kind of an expert. I've made this two times already, so. Oh wait, oh my gosh, there's something else you need. An onion. All right, now we're ready to rock and roll, baby. I don't really know where to set y'all, not gonna lie. Y'all are kind of like little orphans and I never know where to put y'all, but this might work. I can stand like this. Is that good? I hope it is, cause I'm not changing the angle anymore. I lied, I'm gonna change the angle again. <laughs> What if I put y'all on my fridge? Would that be kind of dope, right? Kind of. Okay, wide angle, but not really a wide angle. My jeans don't fit like at all, so they look kind of goofy. So don't say anything about it. Mm? How do I put my dishes away? Hold on, I'll do that for you guys. Cause I know it's gonna bother you. <laughs> okay, so now let's begin. How many times have I said that? First, we're gonna cut the tomatoes. So we're gonna wash those off. I don't really know if I'm supposed to, and to be quite honest with you, if I wasn't filming this video, probably wouldn't wash them off. Also, is tomato a fruit or vegetable? Let's have that discussion. Let's just talk about them right now. I always think of it as a vegetable, so. I should probably put my hair up, because I'm cooking, but also no one else is gonna eat this except me, so. If I get a little bit of my hair in it, it's okay. Extra protein. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this like so another fun thing is i really don't know how to cut tomatoes and it stresses me out because once you start to cube the tomato it like smushes together because of all the tomato guts so i just cut that out it's probably a huge waste and i should probably use the tomato guts in my pico but i don't so sue me if you know how to cut a tomato then do it the right way So if you have to sneeze, just make sure you sneeze away from your food um, into the air that everyone else breathes. Tomato guts equal removed. Now you have these little tomato scoops and we're gonna cut those up in really teeny tiny little die. Dices, die. Oh my gosh. My nails are the same exact color. We love coordinating. We love it. We love that. When I was younger, I think I was like 10. I really wanted to be a chef, like really freaking bad. 
I would watch Food Network. Like most kids have cartoons or like Disney Channel on. I was watching Rachel Ray. That was my home girl with her raspy voice. Hello. <laughs> and then she started making dog food and then I was just really confused. And she taught me that you should always, well, her and Cooking Mama. Yes. Taught me that you should always have your fingers, like when you're slicing stuff, you should never have your fingers out like this. You should have them like this, you know? But I don't do that because it's just not convenient for me. So I might slice my finger. WWRDD, what would Rachel Ray do? And just do that. Nice! Last time I did this, I had like those really tiny tomatoes because I had them left over and I needed to use them because I'm an adult and I don't like to waste produce. And y'all should have seen me trying to dice them tiny little tomatoes. It was so cute and fun. To get the tomato guts out of those, I would just cut them in half and I would go over to my sink and just squeeze them. It was kind of like popping a pimple and it was kind of satisfying, not gonna lie. So something I've been concerned about recently and you should be concerned about too is that our earth is dying and we need to do something about it or else we are all gonna go extinct. I did not realize how quickly those little plastic bags add up and then what am I gonna use them for? For what? Like I know it's good to have a couple in the house but like I have so many. So if you get plastic bags, reuse those. But if you could avoid it, I was on the hunt for <laughs> When did I become a 30 year old woman's cooking channel? <laughs> I was on the hunt for some good reusable grocery bags that were kind of had a lot of room and like weren't super expensive because hello, I don't have money. So I was at TJ Maxx today and they have big bags for like 99 cents and they're like big, durable, sturdy bags and they're cute. They have like all these cute designs. So if y'all are trying to save the planet, hit up TJ Maxx. And if you know any other ways that I can like save the world, basically, um, comment them down below. I'm being so serious. Like stuff I can do to be more environmentally conscious. What can we do? We. 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 <laughs> uh, finally, all of our tomatoes are a dice. Man, I vividly remember. Okay, so I don't know if y'all ever watched this movie called Drop Dead Fred. I remember being younger and there was this one scene where homegirl was like making her boyfriend some dinner or something and she was being real weird about that salad she was like i'm gonna make a great salad i'll make i'll make a, a dinner salad it'll be the most romantic wonderful romantic romantic salad and then she went like that and i was like girl and i just thought it was so cool and like now i can do that but it's not as fun as i thought it would be growing up oh am i supposed to wash this I mean, does that do anything? Probably not. Also, full body videos are weird to me because y'all can see how bad my posture is. So then what you're gonna wanna do is put all of these seeds right into your pico. Just kidding, throw these out. And then wash these off because there's some seed remnants. All right, and then same thing we did with the tomatoes, just slice and dice. Slice and dice, baby, that's our motto. Oh my gosh, y'all, I used to babysit this little girl, and homegirl, she was like six, and she would just eat these a plain. Like, her mom would just buy them pre-cut, and like, she would just munch on peppers, like, what? Someone watching this probably does that, but like, huh? I can't imagine. Go get an apple or something. <laughs> This is like my last teenage year. Like, no. I've already lived my last teenage year. I'm about to not be a teenager anymore. So like, <laughs> hello, let's get the ball rolling on turning me into like a viral quirky YouTuber. Cause like my time is almost up. Am I just turning into like the person who graduated high school and then just still goes to the football games, but like of YouTube? Like when is it not okay? Okay, so I've cut like half of the pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the mix to see what it looks like because I don't measure anything. You know how much I love the measuring, right? Uh-huh, I don't. I'm gonna get a spoon. Just cutting out how many clean spoons. That's embarrassing. I'm gonna get a fork. So I'm gonna just mix that to kind of see what I'm working with. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. I think that looks good for now. So I think I use 
like three fourths of a pepper if you're following along. No one is following along, absolutely no one. All right, now I'm gonna add the cilantro. I know there's like a huge debate around cilantro, whether it's good, whether it tastes like soap. I personally, doesn't really bother me that much. Kinda just tastes like a leaf. <laughs> and to me, I'm kind of a neutral, like I don't really care. Like if it, like I don't care. Oh my gosh, there really is something in my eye. Man, whenever I say that around my dad, do you know what he says? I'll be like, oh, there's something in my eye. He'll be like, let me see. And he'll look and he'll be like, looks like an eyeball. <laughs> and then when I was younger, usually like the night before school, like on a school night, I would always ask my mom. I would be like, mom, do I feel warm? Like trying to get out of going to school. And my mom would like do the little mom thing. She'd like put her hand on my forehead. And then she would be like, man. And she would make me like all convinced that I had a fever. So I'd be like, oh yes, no school. And she'd be like, man, feels like a forehead. <laughs> I'd be like, mom. Uh. Now it's time to cut the onion. Uh, I remember being in elementary school. There was this author that came to our school and she really wrote <laughs> books about an onion. Like She had like a series of children books about an onion, like a whole onion. Oh, do you see how far away from it I am? Like, I just don't wanna do this. <laughs> uh, Man, I'm surprised I haven't made a Shrek onion joke yet. But honestly, there would just be too many layers. <laughs> Don't you ogre re? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ew, I did not peel this right. There's like onion peels in here. Ow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no. I picked a bad day to wear eyeliner. Ah. Ow, 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 ow. Ouch. Okay, onion, you need to go away. I'm done. Ah. Uh, ow. Oh, fuck! Oh no. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just, I just, I can't fake cry. Oh, it kind of looks like watercolor. Ow, it burns really bad. I don't want to rub it because I have onion hands. I don't know how Rachel Ray did it. Like, how did she just cut an onion so gracefully? Mm. This is some spicy good stuff. Honestly, any cooking person, how? Without this happening. Should I just stay like this the rest of the video? <laughs> oh, it burns, it burns. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Why just one eye? Like this eye is pretty good. Like this eye didn't get messed up at all. <laughs> Okay, you know what? This is just crap. Huh. Shout out to Onion. Screw y'all. This is my contemporary makeup look and I'm kind of coming for beauty channels. Uh, so watch out, cause the claws are- Oh my God, my camera. <laughs> the claws are coming out. Get with it, I call it Onion Watercolor. Okay. Ah! I caught y'all. So I have like this big onion mess right here, but I think I cut fairly enough. I mean, yeah, ideally I would put a little bit more onion in here. I'm not gonna lie, but also I'm not about to cut more onion. Okay, maybe I'll cut just a little bit more. What's the worst that could happen, honestly, at this point? Ow! So just to add a little bit of flavor, just go ahead and add a chunk of your nail to the pico mixture um that's what i just did i kind of feel like invincible now like it doesn't burn anymore how come when you're cutting onions it just be like that like it burns randomly like i have been cutting onions for a minute and then randomly my left eye decided to just the waterworks just came through ah! 
Something don't sound right down there. Oh my God. I accidentally had an avocado seed. Y'all, my garbage disposal said it. We ain't disposing of that. Here's my predicament. Um, basically, this line, this half of a line right here is two weeks old. So I don't know if it's really still good. Um, like, I don't know how that works. It's just been wrapped up in plastic wrap for two weeks, but it seems like it'll be okay. It doesn't really look nasty. So we're just gonna go ahead and give that a nice little squeeze. I'm gonna add a little bit of this stuff because when I was grocery shopping, the grocery store was literally out of limes. So that about his lime juice. Put the lime in the coconut, the chicken doll. Make sure all of your ingredients are well incorporated. And bada bing, bada boom. You have Pico de Gallo. Kinda cute, kinda, well, let me cover up my. <laughs> wow. What a journey we have been on to get to this point. Onions equal one, Morgan equals zero. The onions kind of won this fight. <laughs> yes, I get the Walmart brand tortilla chips. You want to know why? Because they're 98 cents. So don't even try to tell me nothing about it. Because who's spending $3 on a bag of tortilla chips? Not me. Okay, so we're just going to get a nice little scoop. forgot salt and pepper i don't know if this is normal or not but i am caucasian so it's normal to us because it's the only spice and seasoning we have ever heard of so i'm gonna put some salt and pepper but i want to say that's actually normal for pico right imagine i just take a whole big bite of it good <laughs> yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this little cooking session if you try it at home <laughs> i say this as if it's like my own secret recipe i'm gonna go wash my makeup off i will see you guys in my next video pico de gallo out get it like peace out pico de gallo out i am so sorry roll the clip i mean cut <sighs> Cut. I'm trying to take a thumbnail without showing this side. <laughs> oh, no. We pico de gallo -ing.